I like to sketch pretty loose. I made a pencil for it. Well, I at least want to help you find a pencil that you don't have to commit. All right. All right. Uh, also, uh, let me just say this real quick. These little arrows right here, these can turn different parts off and on. They're right up at the top. If you want to collapse things this way, you can. Uh, as you can see, I was doing some studying of uh, storyboards. Uh, you can bring in your own reference in Clip Studio, which is awesome. Uh, and you bring that in by importing down here. So this is going to be a, a sub view here. Uh, we'll get into that later. But right now, let's go ahead and hit File. We'll go to New. I'm going to go to my custom 2K. Now, oh, I'm not sure if I did this or not. Let's go with new. So let's say we do a, as you can see, I got a bunch of presets here. So if I wanted to go with, let's go with 28. Sorry, 2880 by what would that be? Uh, let me do the math here. I know some of you are like, you can't do it in your head. No, no, I can't. <laughs> and I should have known it's like 512, <clears throat> but I didn't. So there you go. So we're, I'm going to save this preset. I'm going to hit save here and I'm going to go gigantic. And you just name it and then you hit OK. So now we got a gigantic one saved. So let's take a look over here. Uh, right at the top, these are all operational things. This first little part means that you, that after you draw something, then you can use the operations and this is your move tool and your zoom tool and all the other stuff. But if you, uh, scroll your middle mouse wheel and if you have your navigator open you can just move around and it makes your life a lot easier so the first thing I want to do is I want to get a pencil so you're gonna to go to pencil now I have some other pencils in here and you also this is brand new this add sub tool and so uh, you can search for sub tool on a, uh, out of your assets, uh, but we're not going to get into that just yet. So I have just a, so I have real pencil. So I'm going to go through these because I know you don't have everything. Like this M pencil and the G pencil, I made those. Uh, these are uh, custom pencils for me, for my hand, for the way that I like to draw. And this is what I want you to do. So I have two pencil categories. I have this other one over here. And you can make more than one category. When we get into custom brushes, I got chalks over here. And so let's find out what you like to draw with. So I want you to take, so I have real pencil here. And I like this little graininess to my pencils and middle mouse wheel out there. First thing that you can do is to write your name, right? That's kind of the easiest thing to do is to write your name because you know what your name looks like. Even if you're a beginning artist and you're not quite sure about making circles and ovals and, and, and all of that stuff, you know what your signature looks like, right? So, that wasn't bad. We can check, take a look at the design pencil. Now, get a little ahead of myself. So let's zoom in a little bit with this designer pencil. This feels more like a watercolor brush to me. I just don't like, see, see how pale that is? For me, I don't like that. You may like this, and that's fine. So I'm going to go down. Hit lighter pencil here. Okay. Um, not bad. This isn't bad, but my 
I like to use my pencils primarily for sketching. I like a sketching pencil. And, and uh, I think that I may have to rename this uh, finding your sketching pencil. I don't like this. The line is too solid for, you see that line? This is way too solid for my taste for a sketching pencil. Because if you make a mistake, it makes you feel like you've, like you've just done something horrible. Uh, the mechanical pencil. Now, I use mechanical pencils all the time uh, when I am drawing just... When I'm just drawing with paper and pencil, I love mechanical pencils. Uh, just a regular cheap mechanical pencils. But digital? Not so sure. At least not for my sketching pencil. So over here we got colored pencil. This uh, this just does not work for me at all. It's just too pale. Now you can adjust all of these and we will get into that, but we just want to find that first pencil for you. I have something called, by the way, if you don't have some of these, I bought uh, different uh, pencil packs or whatever. Uh, got some on Gumroad, I got a few you see that's rough pencil. I don't like this. So what I want you to do is I want you to get something that's close to what you like. And so, and now since they updated, they updated uh, the brush engine. Now my G pencil is completely useless. That's why, that's why you don't have a copy of it. Uh -huh. So, uh, it's going to require some stuff in here, but primarily go ahead and take a look at your pencils and see what you like to draw with. See what you like making some circles. I want to make some boxes. Just play around with this and see uh, if which pencil that you like. That's important. I know it seems like it's a little bit of busy work or whatever, but it's not. It is uh, one of the, one. It is probably the most important thing because if you don't feel like sketching, then you're not going to feel like drawing. You don't feel like drawing, you're not going to want to do your projects. Find your pencil that you like so far. When we get into customizing, then. Uh, then we'll go a, a little bit deeper, but for right now, I just want you to look at your pencil and find one that you want to sketch with. All right. See you in the next video.